we have the best education and training for our employees, but we also provide the best training for our staff. Well, we have the best color. Bruh. <laughs> I think it's your fault. But I'm not wrong though. Hey, I know whose fault is this. It's him. It's him. His fault. His fault? Well, we have inclusive and productive workers. But we have a better training program. Well, uh, I don't know. Bruh. Well, <laughs> me too. Huh? Hello, guys. Whatever, my podcast is better. Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to Workplace Matters, a podcast where we explore the latest trends and best practices in creating thriving work environment. So I'm your host, Ain, and today we are going to dive into a crucial topic, which is diversity and inclusion initiative in the Malaysian workplace. So to give us some in-depth insights, we have two honored guests joining us today. From Petronas, we have Admarina Azman, uh, the Chief Human Resource Management Officer. And from Maybank, we have Anis Rajah, the Group Chief Human Capital Officer. So welcome to the show. Okay, so let's start with the basic. Uh, Rin, can you explain why diversity and inclusion are so important in the workplace, particularly in a multicultural company like uh, in Malaysia? Well, thank you for having me. Um, in Malaysia, diversity isn't just a corporate buzzword. It's a reflection of our society. Embracing diversity and inclusion allows us to leverage the various perspectives and ideas um, that come from different cultural backgrounds. So this not only fosters innovation, but also helps create a more engaged and productive community. That's a great point. So Anis, how does Maybank approach diversity and inclusion in its policies and practices? Um, thank you for having me also. Uh, I'm very excited to be here. So to answer your question, uh, at Maybank, we believe that the diverse and inclusive community is a happy tool to our success. And our approach includes implementing uh, inclusive hiring practices, promoting the culture and respect and ensuring that all employees have an equal opportunity for growth and development, as well as uh, various programs to support diversity, such as employee resource group and also mentorship. So, Rhi, Petronas has been like, a leader in diversity and inclusion. So, can you share some special, special sorry? some specific initiatives that have been particularly successful. Yeah, sure. So one of our key initiatives is the Shell Advanced Technical Program, or we call it SAT, which we have adapted to our context. So this structure development uh, program helps experienced professionals advance their careers while ensuring a diverse um, leadership pipeline. And additionally, we also focus on um, Consulting and development, encouraging knowledge sharing to workshop and peer development. That sounds like a comprehensive approach. Okay, so Anis, can you give me uh, can you give us some examples of how Maybank supports continuous learning and career development to enhance diversity? Yes, um, absolutely. So at Maybank, we offer a variety of programs to support continuous learning and also career groups. So for example, our Maybank Academy provides uh, intensive training uh, resources, including online courses and also certification. And we also have a clear career progression framework and also mentorship programs uh, to help the employee to navigate their career paths uh, and also reach their full potential. So now let's talk about the impact of this initiative. 
So Rin, how have um, veterans with diversity and inclusion efforts translated into tangible benefits for the company? So I think our diversity and inclusion initiative has led to a more uh, innovative and dynamic work environment. So by bringing together people from different backgrounds and perspectives, we have been able to solve problems in more diversity and improve our overall performance. Um, additionally, our inclusive uh, culture has helped us to attract and retain top talent, which is crucial in today's competitive market. <coughs> so, I just want to make that. Have you seen similar benefits from your diversity and inclusion efforts? Yeah, I think I've seen it. So, our commitment to diversity and also inclusion uh, has not only enhance our organization culture but also improve our customer relations. So a diverse workforce uh, helps us better to understand and serve our diverse customer base. And apart from that, uh, our inclusive policies has led us to higher employee satisfaction and also lower turnover rates, which directly contribute to our bottom line. So it's clear here that both uh, Petronas and Maybank are leading the way in diversity and inclusion. So for companies just starting their journey, what advice would you give them? Win, let's start with you. Well, my advice for them would be to start with a clear commitment from the top. And leadership must be genuinely committed to fostering diversity and inclusion. Next, um, it would be intended to implement policies and programs that promote inclusivity such as unbiased recruitment processes and diversity. And finally, uh, I think it will be continuously measure and assess your efforts to ensure they are effective and make necessary adjustments. That's a great advice. Anis, what would you like to add? Well, I would emphasize on the importance of creating a culture of inclusion uh, where every employee feels like uh, valued and respected. And that involves not only implementing policy, but also actively promoting uh, inclusive behaviour and also attitudes uh, throughout the organisation. So it also involves employees in the process of uh, seeking their feedback and also incorporating their ideas into diversity and also inclusion strategy. So those are very excellent insights. So before we wrap up, can you share any upcoming initiatives or future plans related to diversity and inclusion at your respective companies? Well, for first one, uh, now we are looking for to expand our diversity program to include more focus on digital inclusion and accessibility. We believe that technology is we believe that as technology evolves, ensuring that all employees have equal access. We also plan to increase our outreach efforts to underrepresented communities to create a more diverse uh, kind of pipeline. That sounds very promising. So, Anis, what about Maybank? So, at Maybank, we are now launching a new initiative focused on mental health and also well-being. And recognizing that inclusive workplace uh, also means supporting the overall well-being of the our employees basically and we are also enhancing uh, our data analytic capabilities to uh, better check out our diversity and also ensure that we are making Gosh. progress towards our teams. Okay, thank you both for sharing your valuable insights and experience. It's clear that um, diversity and inclusion are essential for creating and thriving workplaces and your efforts at Petronas and Maybank are truly inspiring. Oh, thank you for everything. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay, that's all for today's episode at Workplace Matters. So I hope you found these insights on diversity and inclusion initiatives in the Malaysian Workplace Hub book. So remember, creating a diverse and inclusive workplace is not just the right thing to do, it's a smart business strategy that can drive innovation and success. So thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the episode, please subscribe and share it with your colleagues. Until next time, I'm Aish, reminding you to keep striving for a more inclusive and productive workplace. Bye! <laughs>
kau tu sabak mati dah dia. Ah, sabak. Aduh.